In front of me are arguably the best 13 inch Windows laptops on the market right now. This is the Huawei MateBook 13. This is the MateBook X Pro, both kind of refreshed and brand new for 2019. Now, it's easy to kind of dismiss this brand because some people said in the comments, you look at these devices and they look like MacBook clones. They clearly look like they've been inspired by Apple's design. And Huawei is a company that has a bit of a controversial past. They've been caught for IP theft and patent infringement. They don't have the cleanest record out there. However, the fact remains, these devices are very good. And if you're in the market for something that's thin and light with great performance, this should be on the short list. So I'm just gonna to jump to performance real quick. These are running Whiskey Lake CPUs. They're quad core, they're fast, and for anyone considering an Ultrabook, they'll get the job done. But they're also running NVIDIA GPUs, and that's what makes these things special, because most Ultrabooks that are thin and light like this are usually running integrated graphics. These are running dedicated NVIDIA GPUs. They're very similar in performance, despite having very different names. They're not gaming GPUs, but if you do wanna play some light games, they will work. I'm still on the fence as to the value of these cards. Like on one hand, they're not super powerful, so you can't do a lot of graphically intensive stuff with it. But if you're looking for something that's thin and light that does have graphical capabilities, these are a perfect fit. Now, I wanna talk about fans and thermals for a second. These have upgraded fans. The 2018 models for both of these devices had kind of weak thermal performance. They had loud fans, they had inappropriately sized fans. These are better, but they're still not perfect. The MateBook 13 is now running two fans instead of one, but the MateBook X Pro is still running one fan. It's an improved fan, it's better, but both of these devices still run pretty loud on load. And even when they're idling, I feel like the fans come on more often than I'd like them to. Maybe that's something they can fix with software, and Huawei does put out software updates pretty frequently for the devices, but I just feel like these things should be quieter than they are in their current state. Now, the main difference between these two devices is their displays. This is running a 13 inch 1440p panel. The X Pro is higher res, it's 3K by 2K, and it's a larger 14 inch panel, but the display on the MateBook X Pro is significantly brighter. I think for most people, they're gonna be really drawn to this screen's brightness and colors. The MateBook 13 screen is already great, it's just that the MateBook X Pro is that much better. In fact, if you're deciding between the two, I really feel like you should just figure out what type of screen you want or need, and then make your decision based on that, because that really is the fundamental difference between the two. The MateBook 13 has a standard webcam up top, but the X Pro has the pop-up webcam. If you haven't seen this in the past, they have a key that you can press and the webcam pops up. It's pretty cool. I don't think it's a particularly great location. Like when you're using it, you can see your hands as you're typing, but I think for most people who don't use their webcam frequently, this is a great little addition. It's like a kind of hidden webcam that doesn't get in your way. And the screen has a very thin bezel because of it. The port selection is relatively light on both of these devices. The MateBook 13 has two USB-C, neither side supports Thunderbolt 3, and only the left side can be used for charging, so it's a port light device for sure. The X Pro has an extra USB-A, and the two USB-C ports support four-lane Thunderbolt 3. The speakers on both of these laptops are very good. The MateBook 13 has them located on the bottom, but despite their not great location, they sound really clean. The speakers on the X Pro are definitely better. There's two on the bottom and there's two on the top and they sound excellent. They're seriously some of the best speakers on the Ultrabook market. I would say that they're comparable to MacBook's speakers, which are, I would say, class leading. These are on par with that. Uh, okay, keyboards. These keyboards have obviously been inspired by MacBook keyboards from the past. And that's honestly a good thing. These are easy to get used to. It's got a good layout, easy to type on. I think most people will use these keyboards and find them comfortable to use right away. At the top of the keyboard is a fingerprint sensor on both of these devices. And that lets you log into the device with Windows Hello. And oh, on the MateBook X Pro, there is something called Huawei Connect. I don't have the ability to use it because I don't have a Huawei phone that supports it, but if you have one, you can place that phone on the NFC sticker and it'll transfer data between the phone and your device, which is pretty cool. Truthfully, I think it's actually really cool and quite innovative. Like if this was an Apple feature, like people would go crazy for it. It's just that Huawei phones that support that feature aren't widespread enough to make this thing like super cool, but I do think it's a cool idea. Um, oh, trackpad. They're running Windows Precision drivers. You have good tracking, good gesture detection, and the button mechanics on both of them are a nice clean click. Uh, there does seem to be a little bit of a quality control issue. I think both of these devices have a little bit of play on the trackpad, which I wish wasn't there, but they exist. Also, 
Other things that I'm not super fond of, the MateBook 13 only supports eight gigs of RAM and it probably wouldn't affect most people. Like I think that eight gigs is sufficient for a lot of workflows, but you can't upgrade it to 16. The MateBook X Pro and also the 14 inch version of this supports 16, but this only supports eight. The hardware on these MateBooks is excellent. There's no denying that, but the pricing is a little bit more than I thought it would be. This comes in at $1,300, this comes in at $1,900, and that's both for the dedicated graphics versions. That's on par with any of the premium Windows laptops on the market right now. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like these were clearly premium devices, but last year, this one in particular, the MateBook X Pro was, it was like 20% cheaper than it is now. And I think it's gone to the point where Huawei knows that they're making good hardware. They know that they have one of the best laptops on the market, so they've bumped up the price because they can. The X Pro costs more than the Razer Blade Stealth, and that was already a very expensive device. The MateBook lineup has great build quality. The X Pro does have slightly better build quality. It's a unibody design, so the panels are just a little bit tighter, but they're both well built. In regards to people calling these clones of Apple's MacBooks, I can kind of understand where they're coming from. Like they've obviously inspired this design from Apple's MacBook lineup. And even the color of the devices, like the gray unit, they call it space gray. They could have called it anything. They could have called it meteor gray, rock gray, storm gray, but they went with space gray because that's what Apple did. And that's just how Huawei rolls. But these devices are excellent. Like they're just such good hardware that you know, I'm, I didn't make this video to be like, hey, everyone should buy these devices. I'm certainly not saying that, but if you're in the market for a thin and light ultrabook that has performance like this, you should definitely look at them because they're that good.